All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series, where today we are having a look at the Winchester Model 1873 mod, which is being made by user oh dear, SKR. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is the gun that won the West, the Winchester Lever Action Rifle. And I have been having so much fun with this weapon, as not only is it just a fun and entertaining gun to shoot, but it is, of course, a real-world historic gun that does have quite a lot of historical significance, and you guys know me, I always love those sorts of weapons being added into the game. So let's uh, jump on over here and have a look at what exactly we do get with the Winchester Model 1873, which in its most basic form in the game will do 37 damage with a 38 round, with a firing rate of 6, a range of 95, accuracy of 71, all for a weight of 4.5. Not too bad there. And as you can see, it is a beautifully recreated weapon here, very nice on the modeling and texturing, and as you would hope from a recreation of a historic gun for the game, it certainly does look the part of a Model 73. Very good there. You gotta love all the detail on it. Very nice. And thankfully, for, you know, it being in Fallout, it does have a decent amount of different modifications that you can add onto this thing to make it more useful into the mid and perhaps even early late game, and even maybe even into the late game, depending on the perks that you do take. Especially with the receiver category, we can rechamber this into a more powerful round, giving you quite a bit more damage, which is always fun. Now, as for how you do get your hands on one of these lovely rifles, well, it's pretty darn simple. It is injected into the level loot list, and so you'll find these on raiders, gunners, and even in weapon vendors. But that is not your only option for getting one. You can also just go over to any chemistry station in the world, head on down to the Model 1873 category, and build your very own, provided of course you have rank 2 of gun nut, as well as some adhesive gold oil, screw, spring steel, and wood, and then you too can, you know, pretend the commonwealth is the old west. Fun times. <laughs> now let me actually go and grab our two modified versions of the rifle before taking a look at the various modifications as I have been having a little bit of a bug in that regard. Now this is not a huge thing, it's something we've seen with a number of other gun mods in the past that unless you're holding a fully upgraded version that you may not see all the categories because of course certain things you change on the gun are going to open up more opportunities for other modifications. So if we uh, get out our fully upgraded one here. Now go to the weapon workbench and take a look at what all we do get. Now in the receiver category, it's pretty, uh, you know, short. We have the standard powerful, hardened, and calibrated powerful receiver, and then the ability to rechamber it into 44, really helping to up that damage. Always good. Now in the barrel category, we've got three options of either the short, long, or a long barrel with a short magazine. Not entirely sure besides aesthetics why you'd want to do that, but hey, if you do want the aesthetics of a shorter magazine, you do you. Well, also I guess the reload speed. It is, you know, an old school weapon. You gotta put it in bullet by bullet. So, uh, yeah, when it's the full 15 rounds on the long barrel, that does take some time. Okay, never mind. One good reason. <laughs> now for the stock category, we've either got a full or short stock. Now, in the uh, muzzle category, we've either got nothing, a muzzle break to help with the per shot recoil, and of course, a suppressor if you're wanting to be a more sneaky kind of character. Always fun. And then in the sights category, the vast majority of the things in here are modifications to the standard iron sight, where we can change it to have a blue glow on the sight, a green glow, an orange glow and even a red glow, but we also do have two more historic scopes of either a short scope or a long scope. And I, I always love those old-timey scopes. It's just a gigantic tube. It's just wonderful. 
Now, if you do have installed one of these scopes, you then get a new category here of scope finish, where you can actually change up the color of it. It seems to default to the steel, but we can also get a coated scope coloring or a brass one. Personally, brass is my favorite because, I mean, come on, look at it, it's glorious. Now then we have the furniture category where we can also change up the color of the wood on the gun and either have the standard walnut, yellowed, birch, or ebony. Now I think I like just the standard personally the best as it looks like the old school rifle, but it's very nice to have these other options so you can change up the aesthetics of things. And if you are wanting something a bit more modern, the ebony definitely does look the part there. And then finally, we do have a damage modifier category here where you can go from zero to plus 99% damage, which, yeah, you guys know my opinion on those. I tend to find them cheaty unless there is some sort of requirement to help sort of, you know, keep you away from getting the full damage too quickly. And this mod has it. Once you start getting into the higher levels of damage, you're going to need more ranks in Gun Nut to do it. So if you want that full 99% additional damage for the modifier there, you're going to need a lot of Gun Nut, which I do quite enjoy. It does help limit that so you're not just getting too great of damage too early on, as in my opinion, it's a little bit cheaty. But hey, you also go and do you. And that is it for the different modifications we do have, so let's go take a look at this thing in action and get ourselves out of back of the standard version and go to take some shots. Now with the standard short barrel, you're going to have seven rounds with the long barrel and the long magazine on it. You'll have 15, so let's at least take some shots with the standard one and a very, very basic iron sight. But you know what? It works. So fire. And there we go, and the reloading begins, putting in each individual bullet one by one. Which, yeah, does take a while on that 15 round long uh, barrel version of the gun. But overall, you know what? It's a fun gun to shoot. They are just... I mean, it's just so entertaining to shoot one of these things. I've shot them in real life. Uh, specifically, I shot one of the uh, recreated ones that uh, Winchester released in the two... Oh god, when was it? Like 2013, 2014, somewhere around there? And just lever action rifles in general are very entertaining. And this one in particular is just so fun. And is enjoyable to have here in the game. Now let's take a look at um, one of my modified versions here. Did I actually do the... Yeah, this one's the long barrel, and I've got the orange glow sight on there. I much prefer this over the standard iron sight that we just had. It's a little bit more visible, and I like that we can change the color of the glow to different things. Because one of my big complaints with most iron sights is they get lost in the grayer backgrounds of this world. But this one, not too bad. Not too bad at all. And with those uh, 15 rounds we got in this thing, we can just keep on firing for a while. But oh boy, once we do run out... It's, uh, it's just going to take so long to reload. <laughs> there it goes. All 15 bullets individually there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And let's grab ourselves the uh, last modified one where I've got the short scope on there again. I just love the look of those old-timey pipe scopes. And, of course, this one is suppressed. We'll take some shots. And there we go, magnificent. I kind of, I find it kind of funny that on the uh, suppressed version here, oh boy, the long reload time, uh, is that the reload sound is <laughs> louder than the actual shot. So if they don't hear the bullet, they're certainly gonna hear you reloading this thing. <laughs> Good times there. Good times. Now let's get this baby reloaded and get ourselves a death claw to see this thing in action. And uh, hopefully we can kill it with this thing. I mean, this one does do, the max amount I was able to do with the 44 is 110 without any additional perks. So if you do have the, uh, the like rifleman, etc., this should get upped even more. Well, let's uh, get ourselves a lovely death claw and run away! Run away! <laughs> Okay, you're pretty close for right now. So, oh god, why don't you just teleport over there briefly? 
Okay, lovely. Oh boy, he's right there. I don't like that. But we're doing good damage to him. Doing good. Oh, it'd help if I actually hit him. There we go. Got him in the leg over there. And he's just backed himself into a corner. You fool. Oh boy, the reload. <laughs> just, just all those bullets. All of those bullets. Good times. Good times. All right, let's finish him off. Bye-bye, Deathclaw. There he goes. So not exactly the weapon you probably want in a close-up firefight, but from medium to long range, and especially with the scope on here, it is a fun weapon that I have very much been enjoying myself with and has a decent amount of modifications to help keep it more, you know, usable into the later game, which is always fun. So if you'd like to take a look at this mod for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, you have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that's going to be it for this one today, folks. Hopefully you all have enjoyed. You come back for the next one, hopefully. We'll be looking yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.